Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Unfortunately, there's no Emmy or Philippa tonight. You're basically stuck with me. In tonight's nightcap, I managed to get Bob's milling machine adapter finished off. I get the slots milled in with a new horizontal mill. I show a little bit of that in use. Um, I do a bit of work on the lathe. I make a union for a water feed pipe once again for the new mill. This week, Deb's been away on holiday. And you can quite imagine with Deb being away, I've spent all week in the garage. I haven't. I've spent a lot of time in the house doing jobs she's been wanting doing for, for years, really. Uh, one job in particular, uh, I had a broken step, broken on one of the stairs, on the flight of stairs. Um, I wish I'd taken some video of that because there was a lot more engineering than there was joinery work involved. But I can assure you, it'll give no more problems ever again. I've had a text off Deb worst days, uh, she's really enjoying herself, uh, the warm weather's done her the world of good. Uh, she's certainly looking well and I'm, I'm, I'll be pleased when she gets back, because to be perfectly honest with you, I don't miss her. There's a little bit of your meal came in, uh, I bought an item off eBay, I'll show her that. I was looking through some of my, uh, my video footage after I had two, two cards crash actually, I bought two cards off eBay, two cheap cards, uh, SD cards, total waste of time. I've lost a lot of video that I can't I can't replace. Anyway, I did find some video of Beamer Show Air Museum. I was there probably three or four weeks ago, and I took some shots of the steam locos firing up, uh, getting steam up and setting the fires going. I'll put a bit of that in just as a just something different, just to just split things up because I'm sure people get bored of watching me chewing bits of metal up. This is the cooling pipe off the new Viceroy Miller machine. As you can see, it's got a touch of the touch of the brewer's droop. It won't it won't stop where you put it. So I bought a modern plastic one, and that's like a stallion in comparison. That stays exactly where it's where it's put. The mistake I made when I ordered it that's quarter BSP, and I've ordered that one uh, three eighth BSP. And quarter BSP throws me that nice little tap. So what I'm going to do is make a reducer to go from. 3 8 BSP down to quarter BSP. I've got boxes and boxes of fittings, but I haven't got a one of them. I think I'll leave the little brass tap on as well because I do like old fashioned things. I've got a piece of bronze bar, we'll make it out of that. Just use the collar chuck. I've also got a quarter BSP die in the 3 8 BSP tap. First thing I'll do is drill and tap this end 3 BSP. The drill chart I've got actually gives us a size of 15 mil. 15 mil to tap for to drill for 3 BSP. Tail 
stop the measure. The tail starting to keep the top nicely lined up. Just going to top this by hand. A little bit of weight on the tail stock just keeps the top nicely lined up in the boat. The front cuts quite nicely dry. Thread. The top should screw in there quite merrily, but to get it straight out wood. Right, that goes in there. Bastard. Right, that screws in there nicely. A bit of pipe tape on there, that'll be fine. Drag the end. Now we need to put the quarter. BSP fed on. And the ball diameter or the pipe down of a quarter BSP is actually half inch. drill it before put the threads on. I think the quarter BSP was to know greater than the bore size of the tube quarter inch bore. It's the quarter die in there. I simply use a tail stock to line the die up because I still haven't made a tail stock die holder. That keeps the die pushed nicely onto the workpiece. Don't worry, I do use a chuck key to try and turn this and damage the sockets in the chuck. You see, I've got the the hand of the die hole that's just resting on the, on the cross sleeve. This is 
a brand new die so it is cutting it the thread very easily just about there Just break the edge on that, on that hole. Make the taper, make the fluid's passage as easy as possible. Just want to put a taper on that, a taper on that edge there. Uh, that's it. One nice little union. I just want to use the, the collar chuck to hold the union when I screw it together. I've made a bigger diameter and I could have machined a couple of flats onto it or a hex onto it or anything that I wanted really. A few wraps of PTFE tape. I'm not going to bother with the brass tap because it, the new plastic things, but I've already got a tap on it. The reason when you look at how well this is made compared to the water feed on the modern mill or the modern lathe that will do fine doesn't got a great lot of pressure on it all it needs. Quite amazing that little the little plastic tap there. That was the original tap. You get some really nice fancy ornate taps. That's a beauty that one there, the shape of that. Like I say it doesn't uh, doesn't get the droops. This is where it fastens onto the side of the, the column of the machine. It's even got a pin, a roll pin to stop it from rotating. It didn't seem to matter how much things cost in the era when they built these machines, so I just built right. Now we've got fantastic plastic. Do the job.
not quite as pretty as the original one but I'm sure it'll do the job we'll give it a try you need to have the spindle turning before the coolant pump runs working quite nicely you can see it doesn't it stops where you put it look forward to getting many of soaking off that This is certainly looking well and I'm, I'm, I'll be pleased with GS back because to be perfectly honest with you I do miss her. I've got to say that because she'll probably be watching this later on tonight. <laughs>